What's up Namblers? In this video, I'll be sharing with you the recipe for my best selling Philly cheesesteak nampanadas. Whether you're on Team Cheese Whiz or Team Provolone, this recipe is a winner. It's a delicious, fun Philly cheesesteak experience that's sure to be a hit at your next party. Let's get to prepping. We'll need to slice our onions for caramelizing and stuffing. Here's a tip. Water helps to quickly heal the onion cells when slicing so they'll emit less sulfuric acid and you less tears. I like using a Ben Reiner mandolin for consistency and for dicing, these Meller dicers are awesome. As always, you can check out equipment lists, download full recipes and more at namseatery.com. We'll want to slice the ribeye against the grain as thinly as possible so that they're nice and tender but not falling apart. Next, let's sear the beef over high heat the slices will be easier to spread if they are still semi-frozen. Here I'm using my one-sided searing technique where we sear smaller cuts on high heat to brown one side, then giving them a quick flip to finish them off. Be sure to check out my video on roasting the ribeye bones, cave nam style. The beef won't take long to brown and we don't want to overcook them. Set the beef aside and saute up the mushrooms in a good amount of oil. If you ever find yourself running low on oil during cooking, then simply drizzle more oil down the sides of the pan so that they hit the food nice and hot. Remember, if you don't hear sizzling or see steam when sautéing or pan frying, then your food is probably burning due to lack of oil or liquid. All there is left to cook are the onions. We want to cook them on medium heat until caramelized. The more you move them, the less they'll caramelize. But if you don't move them enough, then they'll stick and burn. Caramelization happens in a narrow temperature window. Mix all the meats, mushrooms, and onions together, then season the mix well with salt and pepper. Allow it to cool, then cover and refrigerate overnight. Then, you guessed what time it is. It's Nampanada time, baby. Grab some semi-thawed empanada shells and lightly wet the rim with water. You can use Cheese Whiz, which is my favorite, but a couple trimmed slices of provolone is always a hit with the crowd. Scoop in a heaping tablespoon of our delicious meat mixture, but be careful not to overstuff. Give the empanadas a firm seal using an empanada press or by crimping with a fork. Oh yeah, that's a fatty. And there you have it, Philly cheesesteak nampanadas. So good you'll wish you made more. Comment down below some awesome ideas that would make for a great nampanada. Be sure to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Stay safe everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.